all-new Kimmel Late Night, only on ABC. An all-new Extreme Makeover Home Edition, ABC Sunday. An all-new Desperate Housewives, Sunday at 9, 8 central, only on ABC. From spilling hot coffee to logging on the web, tonight we take a look at the staggering number of filed lawsuits. A PD community is coming to grips tonight trying to figure out why a well-known stylist was murdered. And police in several states on the lookout for three pregnant teenage girls after they assaulted someone with a frying pan. Hi everybody, good evening. Thanks for joining your local team for Nightside. I'm Jim Heath. And I'm Allison Floyd. We begin tonight with a South Carolina family who's filed a lawsuit against MySpace and its owner, News Corporation. The families claim their young daughters were sexually abused by adults they met on the website. They are seeking millions of dollars in damages. According to lawyers for the plaintiffs, MySpace waited too long to put security measures in place to protect their underage users. MySpace has not commented on the suit. It's quite common that we report on people who sue big companies, and it may seem like you can sue anyone, but there are hundreds of other lawsuits that never make it to court. Here in South Carolina, there are laws that hold lawyers accountable for frivolous lawsuits. WPDE's Kyle Granger joins us now with more. Kyle? Well, Allison, right here in Overy County last year, there were more than 6,000 civil suits filed. The clerk says it's increased tremendously over the last 10 years. These two knew exactly what we were talking about when we asked about lawsuits. It's ridiculous that somebody can order hot coffee and then get upset because they spill it on themselves. You ordered it hot. If you didn't want it hot, order it cold. I think that they're stupid. I don't think the court should allow them in. There are many different types of lawsuits. An Atlanta newspaper writer is being threatened with a lawsuit because his name is the same as a member of a popular rock group. As it turns out, the man who was born, Bill Wyman, is being sued by a guy who was born, William Perks, and then changed his name to Bill Wyman. And in Germany, a man sued his butcher, claiming that a fatty meat product kept him from kissing. Some see it as people not taking responsibility for their actions. You see it in the upbringing of all of our children. They do not take accountability for anything they do. But in South Carolina, there's what's called the Frivolous Claims Act. It basically would penalize, even take away a law license from representing a case that is ruled frivolous. Lawyers say that's why they turn cases away daily. But all some people see are the cases that are reported in the media, like suing over hot coffee or what children do on MySpace.com. I think if it's something where a person may have lost an arm or leg or something like that, that's something different. But if it's just something, well, oh, I spilled my coffee in my lap or, you know, something that's like, well, didn't we all do that, you know, at one point in time? And we've learned tonight that lawsuits against MySpace are nothing new. And even right here in South Carolina, there are several pending right now. Back to you. Very good, Kyle Granger. Thank you very much. A developing story out of the town of Ainer tonight. A five-year-old has been flown to a hospital after an accident there. It happened this evening at 7th Avenue and Bay Street. We've been told that a five-year-old was hit and has been taken to the hospital in critical condition. Ainer police are still trying to figure out exactly what happened. Police have arrested a Darlington County man for the murder of a popular hairstylist. Last night, deputies found 30-year-old Tyrone, Tyrone Brown's body partially in a creek off of a sandbox road in Darlington County. Police say someone murdered him and dumped his body there. He died from blunt force trauma to the head. Brown's friends tonight describe him as a caring person who loved to make people happy. He was just a kind person, so I can't understand why and how someone could do this to someone that was always willing to lend a hand to help no matter what the case, the circumstances were. He was always there. Bobby Gilbert is charged tonight with murder and Brown's death. Police say robbery is the motive. Police found a 13-year-old girl and a 17-year-old boy driving Brown's car, but investigators do not believe at this point the pair were involved in Brown's death. There's a chill in the air tonight, but nothing like what we've seen over the past couple of days. Kristen Van Dyke has tonight's first forecast. Kristen? It is very cold out there, but thankfully we're not having to deal with any rain. In fact, around the Carolinas, skies are only partly cloudy with just some high, thin, cirrus clouds moving through the area. We'll become mainly clear, and that will allow those temperatures to drop quickly. We're already in the low 40s just about everywhere, 45 in Myrtle Beach, 40 in Myrtle's Inlet, 43 in Florence. Winds are nice and light, and out of the west, about 5 to 10 miles per hour, and that'll keep temperatures just a bit higher by the beaches. Lows there will only fall to the mid-30s. Inland, we can see a low of 
30 degrees and even deep inland. We could see those lows fall to the upper 20s. For tomorrow, it will definitely be on the chilly side. Partly sunny skies, highs only making it into the low 50s. It will be breezy, so that means temperatures will be feeling just a bit cooler than that. I'll have more details with your complete 7-day forecast coming up. All right, Kristen, thank you very much. In Columbia, a former insurance group owner and president has been convicted on five counts of forging checks. In 2001, Jay Spector got a $5 million construction loan to build a call center in Hemingway. He received 11 checks totaling $1.2 million from the lender and was supposed to sign those checks over for the construction. But instead, he deposited them into his own business account. He now faces a fine of $1.2 million and 50 years in prison. A North Carolina woman who police say snatched her biological twins from their adoptive parents last month and then took off appeared in federal court earlier today. Now Allison Quetz faces kidnapping and some other charges. Police say she was authorized to have the children under a previous court order but never brought them back. The kids were found unharmed in Canada. She's been in a federal processing center in the state of Oklahoma for the past two weeks, awaiting transport back to North Carolina, and she was ordered to remain in custody. A 114-year-old Connecticut woman born to former slaves in North Carolina is now the world's oldest known woman. That distinction comes after the death this week of a Canadian woman. Emma Faust Tillman was born November 22, 1892. One of 23 children, she is the daughter of former slaves who moved from Faust Plantation in Gibbonsville North Carolina to Connecticut back in 1895. There, Emma worked as a servant for actress Katherine Hepburn. Next week, you can meet for five minutes privately with Governor Mark Sanford. That's at his office in Columbia. If you'd like to sign up for one of the meetings, you can call the governor's office at 803-734-1999, beginning at 9 o'clock Monday morning. A side note here, you cannot sign up for the meeting before Monday. The 24th annual Winter Run kicks off tomorrow morning in North Myrtle Beach. The 5K and 15K races kick off at Main Street and Ocean Boulevard at 9 o'clock in the morning, with more than 500 people expected to run in this year's races and many more on the streets to watch and cheer on the runners. Police are asking you to pay extra attention if you're driving through that area, especially around Main Street at Hillside Drive. A Georgetown man has made a fascinating discovery recently in the barn behind his house. Fred Williams found a couple of old ledger books dating from 1876 to 1880. There's no business name on those books, but it appears they came from a local general store. The yellow pages show that customers bought corn whiskey for a buck fifty a gallon or six chickens for just 75 cents. Williams may someday sell the books, but for the time being, he's loaned them to the Georgetown County Museum. If nothing more, a person can come by and at least view them and see how life was in this early 1870s, 80s, and see how people operated, what they bought how they bought it. Williams says the books are a gold mine and whoever left them behind must be completely nuts. He says it will take some legwork, but he hopes to uncover who the books belong to originally. The Georgia Secretary of State calls it one for the history books. They found an original, believe it or not, handwritten copy of our United States Constitution, a very rare piece of history that had been tucked away in the archives and forgotten about. Congress ordered back in 1777 that copies of the Constitution be sent to each of the 13 colonies, which includes, of course, the state of Georgia. When going through microfilm just a few days ago, state archivist Gregory Jarrell could not believe his eyes when the date, March 2nd, 1777, caught his attention. He says he ran to the vault, opened up a bound volume of documents, and there it was. This is WPDE News Channel 15 Nightside with Allison Floyd and Jim Heath. Coming up next on Nightside. Could a total ban on spanking be a thing of the future? We'll tell you about a lawmaker who's trying to make that happen for his state. And a hotel in Washington, D.C. shut down tonight after everyone started to get sick. I'll tell you why. More news in just two minutes on this Friday night. The 2007 Chevy Impala gets an EPA estimated 31 miles per gallon highway and it's backed by the GM 100,000 mile warranty. Learn more. Go to Yahoo and click Auto. Qualified lessees get a low mileage lease on this 07 Impala for around $199 a month. Residency restrictions apply. Call for details. See your Carolina Chevy dealer today. 
a big 2011. I mean, what could a 2011 that big even mean? I mean, it seems too hard to even grasp. Okay, we're talking January 2011. That's four years from now. That's how long I have to pay for my rooms to go furniture I finance today with no interest. Nada, none. I mean, how could that be? It's loony. I get my furniture now. I live in it for four years, and I pay no interest till 2011. I mean, all I have to do is make equal monthly payments, which I can totally handle. I mean, these rooms to go people do anything for you. It's nutty, but nice. Don't do it. Don't buy a Honda Accord before you drive the new Hyundai Sonata. Why? Because the Sonata costs a whopping 3300 less. And the fuel-efficient Sonata has more standard safety features, like six airbags and electronic stability control. And it's built in America's most advanced assembly plant. Plus, it's backed by America's best warranty. You gotta test drive this. The award-winning Sonata from Hyundai. Myrtle Beach Hyundai, where no one pays retail. Highway 501 Myrtle Beach. Hi, I'm Ed Piotrowski, inviting you to join me in a fabulous train adventure through the spectacular Canadian Rockies, June 12th to the 21st. We'll see Victoria and Vancouver and visit Banff National Park and the Columbia Ice Field. We'll also enjoy a spectacular train journey aboard the Rocky Mountaineer from Vancouver to Banff. For your free WPDE brochure, call Holiday Vacations toll-free 1-800-826-2266. That's 1-800-826-2266. Live from the studios of WPDE, you're watching Nightside. Well, having grown up out west, I can tell you, California lawmakers, they love to be the first to do things, and they're headed that way this legislative session. A San Francisco Bay Area lawmaker wants the state to be the first to impose a total ban on spanking. Nanette Miranda reports. Madeline Tugood made national headlines nearly five years ago when a security camera in Indiana caught her spanking her child in a store parking lot. Now, California's second highest assembly Democrat wants to propose a ban on spanking young children. Children that are three years old or younger are really sitting ducks in terms of the uh, force, size, and speed of an adult who would beat them. Although California law does allow a child to be hit with reasonable force, mother Kathy Rebkin says the ban is needed because spanking is too rampant. I think it, it breeds uh, kids being, you know, going to school and becoming violent themselves. But other parents, like Rajbir Carr, says she needs a disciplining tool for her rambunctious three-year-old. Sometimes they don't listen, no matter what you tell them, and sometimes you just have to, I mean, don't, like, hit them, but, like, see, he's spanking me right now. <laughs> the UC Davis Early Childhood Lab has been studying infant and toddler development since 1963. Their research shows young kids do imitate their parents and that spanking only works to stop bad behavior at that moment. You need to think of modeling appropriate behavior for a child rather than um, simply responding with anger and force. The spanking ban won't likely win support from Republicans. The problem I have with this is that we are beginning to legislate every small thing in family life. We are becoming the ultimate nanny state. Madeline Tugood was eventually found guilty of child endangerment, serving a one-year suspended sentence and fined $500. In Sacramento, Nanette Miranda, ABC News. Other headlines from around the nation tonight. A 16-year-old Massachusetts high school student charged with stabbing a classmate to death pleaded not guilty to a charge of first-degree murder today. John Ogdron is t accused of stabbing 15-year-old James Allison at a high school outside of Boston. Prosecutors say moments after the sta stabbing, Ogdron confessed to police that he did it. No motive has been released. Police all over the United States tonight are looking for three pregnant teenage girls who they say hit the director of the group home they were in over the head with a frying pan and took off. That incident happened at a privately owned maternity home for pregnant teenagers south of Salt Lake City. The girls are from Illinois, Texas, and California. Hotel outside Washington shutting down after 120 people got sick from a highly contagious virus. After 15 employees and 105 guests experienced intense gastrointestinal symptoms, officials confirmed it was indeed norovirus. Outbreaks are common in confined quarters with a lot of people like cruise ships and in places like hotels, prisons, and nursing homes. The parent company of TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and other stores says customer data was stolen by computer hackers back in December. The company says hackers broke into a system that handles credit and debit card transactions along with checks and merchandise returns. Now, if you've shopped at TJ Marks, Marshalls, AJ Wright, or Home Goods, be sure to check your upcoming statements.
Some rain is on the way, but will the entire weekend be a washout, Kristen? No, I don't think so. We will have some showers starting to move in by late Sunday. I'll have more on that for you coming up next. Hello, baby. This is the king, the king of car shopping, because I'm rocking with Kia of Myrtle Beach and Florence, baby. Do you have a job? Do you have $199? Do you want at least $8,000 for your trade? If you answered yes, then you could be approved at Kia of Myrtle Beach and Kia of Florence. Plus, pull or tow in any old trade and get at least $8,000 for it. Drive home a new Kia Sedona minivan, just $16,995 only at Kia of Myrtle Beach and Kia of Florence. That. Whoever thought the internet would bridge generation gaps and bring people together. Now families throughout our community are using online banking from the Conway National Bank. CNB's online banking helps you manage multiple accounts, check balances, transfer funds. Best of all, it's free and anyone, any age can do it. The Conway National Bank, your user-friendly online bank with an office near you. The 2007 PD Kids Jamboree, February 3rd and 4th at the Florence Civic Center. All-day kid fun for only $5. Bounce, slide, and have fun on all the inflatables. Climb a rock wall. Enjoy pony rides. Watch and pet exotic snakes with Steve Scruggs and Let's Get Wild. Plus skateboarding with the Atomic Skate Team. All this for only $5. The ice skating rink will also be open. The PD Kids Jamboree, Saturday and Sunday at the Florence Civic Center. Brought to you by these fine sponsors. WPDE is helping to connect to local businesses with communities in the Grand Strand and PD areas. The online business directory at WPDE.com is a quick and easy way to find the services you're looking for. Just go to WPDE.com and link to the directory on our homepage. Select the service you need from our extensive list of local providers, and the business directory gives you contact information and a detailed map to the location. Find the best the Grand Strand and PD has to offer on WPDE.com with the online business directory. Hi, I'm Ed Piotrowski, inviting you to join me in a fabulous train adventure through the spectacular Canadian Rockies, June 12th to the 21st. We'll enjoy a two-day train journey from Vancouver, British Columbia to Banff National Park. We'll also spend two nights in spectacular Banff and visit elegant Chateau Lake Louise. For your free WPDE brochure, call Holiday Vacations toll-free 1-800-826-2266. That's 1-800-826-2266. Tonight's weather is brought to you by Myrtle Beach Chevrolet, home of the all-new Silverado. This is WPDE News Channel 15 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Ed Piotrowski. Good evening, I'm Kristen Van Dyke in for Ed Piotrowski. We were off to a cloudy start this morning, but as we went through the afternoon, we gradually did break out into some sunshine, and that helped temperatures warm up. T today, we topped out in the mid-50s. Certainly felt much nicer than the upper 30s and low 40s that we got to yesterday. 55 was the high in Myrtle Beach, 56 in Florence, and 57 degrees in Charleston. Since then, those temperatures have started to plummet. Now we are only in the lower 40s. If you take a look at our pinpoint, we do not have that, but we'll go ahead and take a look at temperature cast. Temperatures now are in the lower 40s. Overnight tonight, those will continue to drop. Overnight lows tonight will fall to the mid-30s inland, mid-30s for the Grand Strand. Could see a few areas inland fall back to the upper 20s elsewhere in the low to mid-30s, so certainly a very cold start tomorrow morning. As we go through the afternoon, expected to be chilly again. Highs are only going to make it into the low 50s, but we will stay nice and dry. Here's what's going on around the eastern half of the nation. Nice and dry here. Just a few high cirrus clouds moving through the area. We'll stay dry tonight right on through tomorrow. All of that will be because of high pressure. That's just off to our north. That's going to continue to control our weather overnight tonight and as we head through tomorrow. It's going to move uh, eastward. As it does, it's going to bring us a northerly wind. So tomorrow winds could be just a bit breezy out of the north at 10 to 15 miles per hour and when you factor that in it means it could feel just a bit cooler than the low 50s that will reach tomorrow. We will stay nice and dry, should have plenty of sunshine as we go through tomorrow. Our next rainmaker though is developing in the coast now. You can see some of those showers starting to spill out 
across eastern Texas and back into Louisiana. This low pressure system here, that's going to move northward. And as we get into Sunday or Saturday evening, we'll start to see some of those clouds ahead of that system move on in. So by Saturday night, expect mostly cloudy skies, mostly cloudy by Sunday. And then by Sunday afternoon, we could start to see a few showers move in. Our best chance for showers, though, will arrive Sunday night. And as we head through Monday, and you'll see all that coming up in your seven-day forecast. So for the rest of tonight, Expect overnight lows to fall again to the upper 20s to around 30 inland. Mid-30s for the beaches. Winds will be out in the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Certainly cold tonight under mostly clear skies. Then for tomorrow morning, we'll be off to a cold start as well. Temperatures will only be in the upper 30s to lower 40s. Winds will be out in the north at 5 to 10. Plenty of sunshine, though, right on through the afternoon. Highs will make it into the low 50s. And again, with that breeze, it could feel a bit cooler, certainly chilly. Winds will be out in the north at 5 to 15 miles per hour. For the next seven days, our next chance for showers will arrive on Sunday for the Grand Strand. Uh, likely by the afternoon, best chance for showers will be Sunday night and into Monday. A little bit warmer on Monday with highs in the upper 50s. A few clouds around on Tuesday and then another cold blast will arrive just in time for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Highs in the low 50s. Overnight lows falling back again to the lower, lower 30s. Inland, you can expect the, basically the same thing tomorrow. Highs in the low 50s with partly sunny skies. By Sunday, we'll see those cr uh, clouds increasing, so mo mostly cloudy on Sunday. The chance for some showers in the afternoon. The best chance for rain will arrive Sunday night and as we go through the day on Monday, we'll gradually start to clear things out on Tuesday with a few clouds remaining, highs in the low 50s, and then cooler certainly by Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday with those highs only in the upper 40s to lower 50s. So winter is back and it is here to stay for a little while. All right, Kristen, thank you very much. He's already won a Golden Globe for this film. Up next, a look at Forrest Whitaker in The Last King of Scotland. We're going to the movies in two minutes. You want an 07 Ford Fusion for $199 a month? You got it. Only at Beach Ford Lincoln Mercury. 07 Fusion starting at $199 a month. Want to save up to $13,000 on new F-Series? You got it. The biggest selection of new F-Series in the area. Up to $13,000 off. Want to drive a Super Cab for $299 a month? You got it. 07 F-150 Super Cab. Just $299 a month. Only at Beach Ford Lincoln Mercury. Yeah, baby, you got it. It's time for the great American tradition, Girl Scout cookies. Now underway through March 4th. Just mention Girl Scout cookies and people begin rattling off their favorite varieties. Thin Mints, Samoas, and Trafels to name a few. Are you aware of the real reward behind this annual event? Helping girls build business and financial savvy along with a host of other life skills. To order your Girl Scout cookies, call 669-5174. Thank you for your support of Girl Scouts. Come and surround yourself in the warmth of homemade quilts at the annual Horry County Museum Quilt Gala. Over 200 quilts will be on display in beautiful patterns and sizes. Enjoy the vendors, door prizes, and participate in the Quilt Challenge competition. This great American folk tradition is co-sponsored by the Grand Strand Quilters and takes place the last weekend of February. Admission only $5. The annual Horry County Museum Quilt Gala at Ocean Lakes Family Campground Recreation Center. It's the way you live. It's what you call home. It's what we call life. You're not just alone or a number. You're one of our own. Carolina Trust. We're here for you. When you need us most, Carolina Trust. Face it, that was then. This is now. If the hands of time have been working on your face, it's time to face the facts. You can do something about it. Then and Now Beauty and Health Boutique offers cutting-edge technology to do an about-face on wrinkles and lines. Non-surgical laser precision techniques to heal sun-damaged skin, age spots, or tighten skin. Put your best face forward at Then and Now Beauty and Health Boutique. Call 347-2128 for a free consultation. Then and Now. Wow! A film with an Oscar-worthy lead performance is being released nationwide this weekend. Many expect the movie to earn Forrest Whitaker a nod from the Motion Picture Academy when nominations are announced. ABC's Bill Deal reviews The Last King of Scotland. I am you. The Last King of Scotland. It's a heart-stopping thriller that takes us into the world of Ugandan dictator Idi Amin. 
Forrest Whitaker stars as Idi Amin, whose brutal reign of terror in the 1970s saw 300,000 of his people killed. Whitaker says... I think the first time I went out dressed as Idi Amin, I remember we were at the hospital, and the people were, like, totally thrown off, you know, tight and stepping back. But I think it's because Idi Amin is in their lifetime. You know, he's in my lifetime. It was in 79 when he left power. So they have a distinct memory of him. James McAvoy plays the fictional Nicholas Garrigan, a young doctor who becomes Amin's personal physician. You have to go home now. You cannot. You are like my own son. I'm Nicholas Garrigan, and I'm from Scotland. Your home is here. Forrest Whitaker, who won the Golden Globe for Best Actor in a Drama, delivers an amazing performance that blew me away. Four stars for The Last King of Scotland, now in wide release. I'm Bill Deal. Bill doesn't give four stars anything. No, so we get to see that movie. That's right, and it sounds like it's going to be a great weekend to do that. It's going to be cold outside, so head to the movie theater. All right, sneak in there, enjoy it. Good weekend for a movie. All right, that's your local news. Thanks so much for joining us this week. Have a great night, but stick around. Rich Crampan is up next with all the high school basketball highlights in the Hoop Zone. Have a great night and a great weekend. Hyundai's 07 Challenge means free leather for you. We're going to sell 1,500 cars this year, and we're starting by giving you free leather in every 07 Sonata and Tucson. And that's before your best deal, only at Myrtle Beach Hyundai, 501 East of the Waterway. Hi, I'm Ed Piotrowski, inviting you to join me in a fabulous train adventure through the spectacular Canadian Rockies, June 12th to the 21st. We'll fly to Seattle and visit charming Victoria and Vancouver, British Columbia. Highlights include lovely Butcher Gardens. We'll also enjoy one of the most beautiful train rides in the world, two days aboard the Rocky Mountaineer from Vancouver to Banff. We'll travel by day only, so we won't miss a sight of the beautiful Canadian Rockies. Other highlights include a buffet lunch at Elegant Chateau Lake Louise and Banff National Park, known for magnificent scenery and fabulous wildlife. This beautiful tour includes all transportation and much more. For your free WPDE brochure, call Holiday Vacations toll-free 1-800-826-2266. ways to save money on gas and help the environment? The EPA wants to share some smart driving tips that could give you more miles per gallon of gas and reduce air pollution. Tips like replacing your air filter regularly and making sure your tires are properly inflated. And where possible, accelerate and brake slowly. Be aware of your speed. Did you know that for every five miles you go over 65 miles per hour, you're spending about 20 cents more per gallon of gas? If you're shopping for a new car, choose the cleanest, most efficient vehicle that meets your needs. If we each adopt just one of these tips, we'd get more miles for our money, and it would be a little easier to smell the flowers. For more tips and to compare cleaner, more efficient vehicles, visit www.epa.gov slash green vehicles. Come to the Palmetto Regional Robotics Competition Thursday, Friday, Saturday, March 29th, 30th, and 31st at the Colonial Center, Columbia, South Carolina. See robots compete. Watch future engineers work on their robots in the pits and compete in the fast-paced game on the field. Math, science, and engineering at its best. My best friends are on this team. This is kind of what we've done as our life for the last four years. Luckily, through first, I got a nice scholarship, so I'll be able to go to the college I've always wanted to go to. So I'm really, really excited about that, and um, I'm coming
coming back to mentor next year to the team. Who said science, math, and engineering wasn't any fun? Free admission, free pit access. See robots compete all day. The Colonial Center, Columbia, 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Free admission, robots, robots. Sponsored by the Palmetto Partners for Science and Technology and aired by the South Carolina Broadcasters Association and this station. Would you like professional investment advice from a local firm? Many investors feel it's important to be able to sit down and talk with their investment representative whenever a need arises, not just one or two days a year. That's the benefit of Edward Jones Local Offices. Put our years of experience to work for you. At Edward Jones, we offer stocks, bonds, mutual funds, annuities, and IRAs to work for you. Our offices are located in your local community. Edward Jones, member SIPC. How do you get free leather in a new Hyundai Sonata or Tucson? Stop by Myrtle Beach Hyundai during our 07 Challenge and see for yourself. We've got to sell 1,500 cars this year, so we're starting by giving you free leather in every new Sonata and Tucson. Only at Myrtle Beach Hyundai, 501 East of the Waterway. Tonight on the Hoop Zone, it's Girls' Night Out. The Conway Lady Tigers host South Florence. Ashley Clark and the Myrtle Beach Girls try to remain unbeaten against South Carolina schools, going head-to-head -head with arch-rival Sockestein. And the girls' area scoring leader, Ruby Lee Wright, faces off against Alexis Taylor and Carver's Bay in a battle of Region 8 Class 1A powers. The winner will be live in the Hoop Zone studio. On the boys' side, everyone's talking about the new beast of the beach. The North Myrtle Beach Chiefs try to remain unbeaten in the region, squaring off against Carolina Forest. The Georgetown boys visit the Shark Tank to play St. James. Marion Point Machine Rommel Kemp and the Swamp Foxes host Waccamaw. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us for this edition of the Hoop Zone. I'm Rich Crampanis. Hey, the surprise team for this season has to be the North Myrtle Beach boys, who have rolled the momentum of a trip to the finals in their own holiday tournament. They've rolled through the early part of the region schedule. Tonight, the Chiefs took on Carolina Forest, and this North.